flow. Um, why does that matter? I thought you were going to give me the 2750. Okay, um, what about the expenses I've, I've incurred with moving supplies? I don't understand what you just said. Yes. For what? For what? Okay, this says twenty seven fifty. No, I'm not asking you to do that. You said it. Okay, I, I don't want you to pay I don't want you to have any contact with the movers. I would like a check for twenty seven fifty in lieu of actual cost. Okay, so um, if I let you pay the mover $900, then after I move, you will issue me the rest. And do I have to give you a list of all my expenses, or are you just going to give me the change? Okay, now, that what? I'm sorry, say it again. Okay, I'm I'm entitled to the twenty seven fifty. So you want to give, you want to uh, pay the mover who you met today. He's very very nice and honest, very nice person. Um, so you want to give him nine hundred, and then you're going to issue me the rest after I move. How long after I move? Okay, that's all right. Okay, so. Um, How do I get some kind of documentation that says what you just told me? Because here it says two things, and this is somewhere in between that. Yeah, well. Okay, it says, um, it says, uh, there's a grievance procedure that I can go through. See, it says owner. It doesn't say, um, it doesn't say the relocation person. It says um, the owner will provide the fi following financial benefits. And then it says grievance procedure. Residents may appeal their relocation benefits eligibility by providing a written appeal no later than 30 days after the receipt of their written relocation notification, which I never received. So um, what happens if after I move, you guys don't pay me? Excuse me? That's not what this says. Yeah, but you're saying something different than what was on the piece of paper. Have you read it? No, that's not what that's not what I said. I, I said I would rather keep you out of it 
Well, if that's going to be a condition of being paid, then all right. But it doesn't say that on this. It says one or two. You're saying there's a one and a half. Okay, but you know what I'm saying? Do you see why I'm baffled? And you, you don't know either. So how am I going to, like, uh, you know, rely on that? You had told me that you were going to reimburse me for the to-go food that I got while my kitchen. Well, I didn't get any money. I don't know what to tell you. See why I'm leery of trusting you? It's not the personal. I don't know you. Just based on past behavior. So what do you think I should do? Okay, if you're going to actually do it because I need him paid. Okay, hold on a second. 